Hi, it's Gabriella, and today I wanted to make a video inspired by Nana, so I thought I'd try some nail art. I bought two sets. I bought a red set inspired by Nana Osaki and a pink set inspired by Nana Komatsu. I like how the nails are sort of different. The red ones are a bit more square, like Nana's nails, and then the pink ones are a bit rounder, like Hachiko's nails. I start off with a sponge and dab on some white little specks. And then using a nail tool, I start to make the marks of the little strawberries, which were inspired by the two strawberry glasses that they share together. I decided to do this strawberry design on Nana's ring finger and then do the same on Hachiko's ring finger to show that they share the two glasses and how special the strawberry glasses are. Then using green and a smaller tool, I add the little green stalks. And then I add the little black seeds as well. Then I add a clear gloss all over. And I do the same for Hachiko's ring finger. I think this design looks cuter on the pink nail and let's be honest, it's more Hachiko's aesthetic than it is Nana's, but I still like that they share the same design on their ring finger. I also wanted to do matching nails with their keys on, so on one of the Nana nails I start to paint her gold key. It starts to get a bit messy, but I'm definitely a trust the process kind of artist. Um, I like to think it works out in the end. Then I use a tiny paintbrush to add a highlight onto the key. And a gold shimmery colour on top. I add a clear coat on top to make it more glossy and then I use some tiny little yellow gold crystals and place those on the nail. Then on Nana's baby finger I wanted to paint Ren's locket because obviously it's really important to her and Ren. Um, this was hard to do on such a tiny nail so I used a toothpick to do the R. I also added the chain of the necklace as well. Then for the Hachiko set on the baby finger I wanted to put 707 which is obviously their flat number, um, Nana Zero Nana, uh, obviously their name so it's really cute and then I also added two of those same yellow gold gems. Then for the pointer finger of the Nana set, I wanted to make the background look like snow because snow is so important to Nana and Ren and all their meetings seem to happen in the snow. I then messily start to paint um, Nana's tattoo, uh, the Ren flower. I use a toothpick to do this so it gets a little bit messy but I think when the top coat goes on top it still looks really pretty. And on top of that I add two little red gems. I then paint the matching key onto the Hachiko set. I use a silvery grey colour to do this. I think this key was more complicated because the handle is more intricate. I outline it in black and then add a white highlight. I add the top coat and then two clear gems. Then for the Hachi set on the pointer finger, I start to paint Hachiko as the little puppy that she's pictured as when um, Nana and other people are saying that she's like a puppy. Again, I use a toothpick to paint the blue headscarf that she's wearing. And I do the black outline with a tiny paintbrush. It gets a little bit messy, but I clean it up in the end. I think it's interesting that Hatchie's referred to as like a pet of the friendship group by a lot of the characters. Ownership of uh, a person seems to be a really strong theme in the story. 
Then for the Hachiko set thumbnail, I start to paint Hachiko. This goes through lots of stages and I change it a few times, but I start off with this sort of peachy um, flesh tone that is kind of similar to hers and I change it and I move everything about and it gets a little bit messy, but at the end I think she looks cute. I start to paint the whites of her eyes using the small paintbrush and then the same for her pink lips but eventually the small paintbrush is not small enough and for the black outline I have to revert to using a pen which is kind of cheating because it's not really nail polish but I don't think it matters if the end product still looks cute. This is the chaos before the calm where I had like every stage going at once um, but I did manage to sort of pull her together by the end. I also painted a blue headscarf on top of her head like she wears when she's um, pictured as the puppy. I then add some pink gems and some glitter on top of the headscarf. I think it's giving me early 2000 vibes just like the manga. Then on the thumb finger for the Nana nail I start to paint Nana Osaki. I found this a little bit easier, I don't know whether it's because I'd practiced, but the nail is so small and the toothpick is not small enough. I have great um, praise for nail artists, I don't know how they do it, but I had more fun painting this nail. I actually had to use black pen again here to finish Nana's face because Yazawa's um, line art is so tiny and thin and delicate and beautiful and part of the reason why I love her um, manga and anime so much because of her style. Uh, yeah, it was hard to capture on such a tiny nail. And then I also add two little red gems. And here's the full set. I like how it turned out. I like the contrast between Hachiko's and Nana's set, but I think they also look really cute together, despite the fact they're different shapes and colors. I used some blue tack to just quickly press them onto my nails so you could see what they look like on my hands. Um, so they're obviously not glued down properly, but I think they look really cute. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you love about Nana. I think for me it's a combination of the really beautiful and realistic moving relationships and then the absolutely stunning art style that makes it so special. Thanks again. See you soon.